going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make an audio spectrum like Trap Nation. Now just before I get into this tutorial, if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now 4 things you will need to do this effect, After Effects, a background image, some music and of course your logo. So as you can see I have After Effects open up right now, I'm just going to right click here, Import, Import File. If you haven't guessed already, we're going to be importing the background, the logo and the song. Now we're going to head over to Composition, New Composition and we're going to call this Logo. Now the width set to 800, the height set to 800 and then make sure Pixel Aspect Ratio is set to Square Pixels. This is set to Non Drop Frame. The resolution needs to be set to Full and the duration just set it to 10 minutes. Then select OK. Now from there we're simply going to be dragging on the logo down here. As you can see it doesn't fit, just right click, select transform and select fit to comp. The next thing we're going to do is create another composition, so come back to composition, new composition and this time we're going to use the preset HDTV 1080 29 frames per second. The pixel ratio again is at square pixels, none frames dropped and we can keep it at 10 minutes along with full resolution. Now from here right click in this box, select new and solid, just call this circle and then select OK. The next thing we're going to do is head over to Effects and Presets over here and we're going to search Circle. Scroll down, you should see Circle here under the Generate. Drag and drop it on the Circle Comp and this is what you should get. Change the radius to 275. We can now minimize this and come back to the Effects and Presets and we're going to search Glow. Come down, scroll down, under Stylize, this is the one you want, drag and drop it again. We're going to change the original to on top and the operation to none. Now we're done with this, so you can minimize it again. Right click in this area again, select new, solid, and we're going to call this one white. Just select OK. Now coming over to the preset and effects again, this time we're going to type in audio spectrum. As you can see, it's right here. Drag and drop it on the white layer this time. Now where it says start point 192, we're going to change this to zero and select enter. And then for the end point, we're going to set it to 1920. The end frequency, we're going to change to 250. The frequency band, we're going to change to 2000. The maximum height, we're going to change to 700. The audio duration is going to 180, 170 I mean. Now we're going to come here and just pick white for both of them. Like that. Now from here, we can minimize the audio spectrum. And we're going to come here under the circle and select the eye so it goes off screen. Now head over to the effects and presets again. This time we're going to type in polar. And this is what you should get. Just drag and drop it on the white. We're going to put the interpolation all the way up. And this is what you should get. And then you also want the polar to react to polar. Again we can minimize this. You're going to head back to the project. This time we can add on the music and drag it to the bottom like so. Now you won't see any effects just yet. It's completely normal. We need to come back to white, we need to come back to the effects tab, we come back to audio spectrum, change the audio layer to the song name which is Alan Walker Fade in my case. So as you can see, it is now going to have an audio spectrum. Now from there we're going to scroll down, we're going to change the side options from side A and B to just side B. Now from there we need to copy and paste the white layer, so just press Control C and Control V and it's copied. Now from here the maximum height is going to be changing to 750 and the audio duration is going to change to 160. On top of that we're going to change the colours to red. Again the exact same colours for inside and outside. And very important as you can see you need to set the audio layer up here to the song again. And we can put the maximum height up and we can drag it below like that. So it gives us this effect now. Again we need to copy and paste the layer again so we're going to press Ctrl C, Ctrl V and now we should have three whites and this is the one we're going to be editing. Once again you need to change your audio layer to make sure it is on Alan Walker Fade or whatever song you may be using. Now this time we're going to be changing the maximum height to around 900. We're going to be changing the audio duration to 130 and we're going to be changing the colour this time to green and we're going to use the exact same one for the outside colour again. As you can see you can put the bands up yourself or the maximum height I mean. As you can see the higher you go this is the type of effect you'll get just like Trap Nation. 
Now as you can see the red is looking too big so come back to the red layer. You'll tell it's the red layer when you see the inside colour and outside colour showing red. We're going to change the maximum height to 750 and that looks better. So now we can minimise this and minimise this on all of them and make sure you're selected on the top layer now and we're going to search for a glow. Scroll down again and add on the same glow under stylize, drag and drop. You can just minimise it and then select the first layer, hold shift and select the circle. We can now press the eye again so it shows it, right click, select pre-compose, call this one anything you want to so maybe audio spectrum and just select OK. Now from here come back to the project tab and we're going to be adding on the logo. So the logo composition drag and drop it above the audio spectrum layer we just created and this is what you should get. As you can see it's too big we just size it down simply like this. Make sure it's in position how you want it. We're now coming over to the effects and presets again. Search mirror, drag it on but not onto the logo, onto the audio spectrum so now it mirrors on both sides. We need to come to the reflection center and change 1920 to 960. As you can see, just like that, it has duplicated or mirrored onto the other side. So we can come along, as you can see, it's going to be mirrored the entire time. Now we can minimize this again, come back to projects. Of course, there's one last thing to add on, which is the background. Drag and drop it at the bottom of everything. And then right click, transform, fit to comp. As you can see, just like that, it's in position. Now when you come to render it, you need to make sure that this right here, the render region, stops when the song stops, which is right here. And then from there, just composition, add to render queue, and but simply just begin to render like you normally do. Now if you want to change how the audio spectrum looks, for example, how high the bands go, where it says audio spectrum, the layer we created, just double click it, and you get back to this. Click on one of them, come back to the effects tab, and this is the white color we don't really need to change yet so let's come to this one which is the red color uh, we'll put the maximum height up a bit as you can see it brings it up so uh, we'll keep it there and we'll also bring up the green maximum height again we can just mess around with it like this and just customize it to how much color we want to show Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. This has been a highly requested tutorial. I hope it's been useful to you guys. And of course, you can customize a lot of different things from what I've just shown you. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.